Hello and welcome to Pass the Turn. On today's episode, we're going to be opening up an Ikoria pre release pack and a couple of packs. We'll see you down at the table. Okay, so we are down at the table and we have our pre release pack and our two free boosters we got for pre ordering this pre release pack. So let's see what we'll get. We'll start with these boosters, I think. Let's start with this one that looks like a monkey hedgehog. I have no idea what are in these packs. Um, as for like value or anything like that, so please let me know. Oh god, that was a hard one for Oh, got some flying tokens. Right, uh, we'll, we'll, I don't know where the thing is, so we'll just go through this. Oh, great with anyone. Let's get to the... Okay, so we have a full art Archeo Pelegor. I don't even want this. Whenever this creature mutates, tap up to X target creatures, where X is the number of times this creature has mutated. <clears throat> Those creatures don't untap during the next up un untap step. Very cool looking art, that one. We have a sonorous howl bonder. Each creature you control with a menace, with a menace, with menace, can't be blocked except by three or more creatures, so it makes it even harder to block them. Ivy Elemental. Uh, enters with X plus one plus one counters on it, basically a Hydra. And our rare is a Bosch the Prey Piercer, which costs five mana. That's uh, three colorless black and red. It's a companion. Your starting deck contains only cards with odd converted mana costs and land cards. If a source you control with odd converted mana costs would deal damage to a permanent or player, it deals double that damage. So you'd build odd cards. That's quite cool. Like that. It's very cool. Uh, a buffer case and then some stuff. So I'm going to put the stuff that I will use to the side and everything else can just go over here. Let's have a look at the one. Looks like King Kong on the front. I'm surprised they didn't make a King Kong card, but maybe that's uh, the reason behind that. Oh god, I'm rubbish opening these. I haven't opened it in ages. My fingers are just like slipping all over the place. There we go. Get a bit of a that painful to watch, I bet. Let's skip through the... So, we have a Jubilant Skybonder. Creatures you control with flying have spells. Your opponent's cast at the target this creature costs two more to cast. We have an Itha Indatha Crystal. Just a uh, Mana Rock. We have a Call of the Death Dweller. Return up to two target creature cards with a total converted mana cost three or less. From your graveyard to the battlefield, put a Death Touch counter on either one of them. Ah, quite cool. Uh, that's pretty That's pretty cool, actually, for a low mana cost return thing. I'll put that to the side, because I probably will use that. And we have an unpredictable cyclone. If a cycling ability of another non-land uh, card would cause you to draw a card, instead exile cards on the top of your library until you exile a card that shares the same card type with that cycle card. You may cast it without casting its mana cost. That's very cool. So I have got the uh, cycling pre-con uh, that you may it may already be out on the channel, we don't know. Uh, I took on the Hydra this, so that would be a good card to add into that. Let's put that there. Got a forest, and then we've got a, well, that's cool. Our foil is a alternate R, Auspicious Starix. Mutate, whenever this creature mutates, exile cards from the top of your library until you exile X permanent cards, where X is the number of times this creature has mutated. Put those permanent cards onto the battlefield. That looks awesome. Wow, that's really fun. Right, so I'm gonna put these over here, I guess. Well, that's what Aaron will want to use. I'm just gonna put that there with those. Let's move these other way over here now. I'll leave that over there for Aaron. Right, let's get into the meat and veg of this. I was about to say meat and balls, but you know, that's not how you actually say it. Let's use a fork, because I'm hungry to find some magic cards in here. Okay, let's open it up. Okay, let's put that face down like that. So, in your box, you get a dice. You get six packets of magic cards. You get this, which is useless. Um, and you get some token things, the thing, and a code there, which I'll leave like that. If you want to redeem that, you can redeem that. Okay, so our promo is Ketra Triome. Wow, okay, so 
uh, Troy on the channel actually got a, his pre-release uh, foil was also a Triome. So this one is the uh, Tima uh, Triome, I think. Yep, that's right, I think. Uh, I always call it Animar colors. So that's that there. It just does that way. Let's start with this one, another King Kong pack. Do they not have the uh, bits on the side like they did in Battle Bond? Oh, there we go, that one definitely does give you It's probably just uh, repack and being glued. That's what it's going to be. Get nothing in these. Alrighty then. Let's get rid of all these commons. So we have a Flame Spill, deals four damage to target creature. Excess damage is dealt to that creature's controller. Oh, that's cool, that's like a trample spell. We have an Alert Heed Bonder. They smell quite uh, fresh. At the beginning of your end step, you can gain one life for each creature you control with Vigilance. And in Daftha Crystal again, and a Crystalline Giant. At the beginning of your upkeep uh, of your combat on your turn, choose a kind of counter that at random that Crystalline doesn't have amongst Flying, First Strike, Death Touch, Hexproof, Lifelink, Menace, Reach, Trample, Vigilance, and plus one, plus one. Uh, put a counter of that kind on Crystalline Giant. Nice. And a Swiss Force case. So basically, poo. Next one, another Monkey Hedgehog. So I think there is very minimal cards I want from this set, but I thought, you know what, why not? I always do a pre-release, so why not? Let's not go for why not go for it? So let's go from here. We have a Valiant rec uh, Rescuer. Whenever you cycle another card for the first time, create a 1-1. One, one. Cool. A Boon of the Wish Giver. Draw four cards, cycling. And a Keen Sight Mentor. When Keen Sight Mentor enters the battlefield, put a Vigilance counter on target non-human. Uh, pay two and put a plus one counter on each creature you control with Vigilance. And we've, wow. Wow. Well, I know that this card, this card is one of the cards I wanted. Wow. Cannon Bond or a Prodigy. Whenever you tap a non-land permanent for mana, add one mana of any type to that permanent produce. Look at the top five cards of your library. You may put a non-human creature amongst them onto the battlefield. So this is gonna, probably going to go into my sliver deck because that will, then they will just make ludicrous mana. So, wow. Okay. That was pretty good. That was pretty lucky. Um, I mean, it's probably going to be banned at some point anyway, but, you know, why not have it while you can? I get lucky like this, I always get like Okos and stuff like that and then, you know, they get banned, but who cares. Um, Commander is, uh, first rule is that you play whatever you want to play, uh, as long as your group cares. So let's have a look. We've got a Jubilant Skybonder again. We've got another Archipelagio, or whatever that you want to call them, so Aaron, you can have one of those for free, mate. Uh, look at the top five cards of your library. You may reveal any number of creature cards amongst them and put them into your hand. That's a lead the stampede. And we've got a hunted nightmare. When it enters the battlefield, target opponent puts a death touch counter on a creature they control. Cool. So I'll wrap. Yeah, I'm going to chop those over there. I'll not stick that over there because I'm never going to use that. Uh, I can go like that. Like that. Right, let's have a look at what this is then. Another King Kong pack. Nice to see that there's a diversity of uh, packs in here. Pack it up. Right, absolutely pull that to pieces there. Scoop through these, scoop mob through them out. Right, we have a Sonorous Halbander again. We'll go through that, we already know what that does. A Will of All Hunter. Of the All Hunter, target creature gets plus two, plus two until the end of turn. If it's blocking, instead it gets plus, it gets two plus two plus counter, counter so it just becomes permanent. Clash of the Titans, target creature fights another target creature. Oh, so wow, okay, so it's not, you could do it to your own creature, now that's interesting, that might be able to be built around. Wow, another companion, legendary cat beast, Kahira the Orphan Guard, each creature card in your starting deck is a cat, elemental, nightmare, dinosaur, or beast, each other creature you control that is a cat, that's a cat, elemental, not gets plus one, plus one, and has vigilance, cool. Cool card, I'm not going to use it, but there you go. Oh, oh, we have a sneaky foil. Barrier Breach, exile up to three target enchantments. I think actually Troy wanted one of those. It's in foil, maybe give it over to Troy. Barrier Breach. So this one, another monkey hedgehog. Let's have a look at this then. Scoop through these, because I'll have a look through them later. I'm pretty much sure there's nothing in there that I want. 
Huntmaster Liger, whenever this creature mutates, other creatures you control get plus one plus plus x plus x to the end of the turn where x is the number of times this creature is mutated. Now that is interesting. That is a stampede effect. That's good. In white. Whenever you cycle a card, you may pay two. If you do, survive Thunder Main deals two damage to a target creature and you gain two life. Very cool. Easy Prey, destroy target creature with converted cost two or less. Now, I feel like that should have just been one black mana. Uh, okay, so that can go over that. And a Danrith Magistrate. Your opponents can't cast spells from anywhere other than their hands. Alright, that's a pretty, pretty hate card, isn't it? Alright, give that back. Oh, we've got another one. A Foil Lava Serpent. Alright, last pack. Let's see what we get. Right, skip through all these rubbish. Oh, a nice evolving wild. Hey, cool. Nice cool card. A uh, Titan of Rex. When you cycle Titan of Rex. I trample counter on it. It's 11 11. Cool, that's a cool card. A Zagoth Crystal. A Wingspang Mental. When it enters the battlefield, put a flying counter on target non human creature you control. Tap it, put a plus one counter on each creature you control with flying. Offering, Offerings Revenge. At the beginning of your pre combat on your turn, exile a red, white, or black creature from your graveyard. Create a token that's a copy of it, except it's a 1 1 and it gains haste. Interesting, so I guess that's like get some cool abilities from it. All right, cool, and that is our packs done. So, I think the only decent card we got there is Kanan. Uh, this Triumph's cool. I mean, I'll just be sending that off because I won't be using it. Uh, don't use tap lands in my decks. And Kanan the Bonder Prodigy is the main card we got there. Anyway, thank you very much for tuning in. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and it helps support content like this, even though it comes out this is a comes out of our own money we just you know just play with what we get uh, we hope you uh, don't forget to check out our affiliate links and we'll catch you next time thank you very much